That's really good. That's one of those thoughts that as a lyricist or songwriter, when you come up with it, you're like, I got to write that down immediately because I cannot forget that one. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel Rockin' the Country. I'm Don. I'm doing this. Uh, this is not a subscriber request today. I reacted to Tristan Merez about a year ago, year and a half ago his song, Forgot About You. I had to look that up. This isn't by memory. But as I was on YouTube the other day, you know how YouTube suggests videos to you to get you to stay online longer? Well, one of Tristan's came up and it's this one. It's this song, She's Had Enough of Texas. And I said, based on that title alone, I've got to do the song. I don't know what we're getting into. Uh, Tristan is a relative newcomer, but I think he's been on the scene. I'm, it's probably been five years at least, I'm going to guess, but, you know, could have been 15. But I know I reacted to him about a year and a half ago, and that was my first introduction. Of course, I had to wear my UT hat because I don't know. This isn't going to be a song about Slam in Texas. You just wouldn't do that in a country song. I guess it depends on who the character is through whose eyes the story is being told, but we're going to find out. Here we go. Well, that's a nice lead in. She lived her dusty the blue Casey's by the door. And that's her ghost ring I bought her down in Oh, one of It's her favorite boot cuts right there on the bed. And that's it, everything that needed to be said. She's had enough for Texas. She's had enough for me. She went California dreaming. Left me no star lonely. But them blue stars know they didn't cry. Just smiled and tipped her hat. Yeah, she's had enough for Texas. She ain't coming back. Yeah, she's sitting on that Santa Barbara sand. Santa Barbara's pretty. Yeah, I'm still working on my dance hall neon town. I wonder if I ever two step cross from mine. Or if I'm just another cowboy and I see that behind. All right, that's a good line that you could blow right past. I wonder if I ever two-step across her mind. That's really good. That's one of those thoughts that as a lyricist or songwriter, when you come up with it, you're like, I got to write that down immediately because I cannot forget that one. It, seems, it could even sound pithy to yourself when you first come up with it, but then you're like, oh no, you got some mixed ideologies in here and that one worked and it's a two-step. So, you know, I wonder if she's missing me on any level kind of thing. She's had enough for Texas. She's had enough of me. She went California dreaming. Left me lone star lonely. But them blue stars know they didn't cry. Just smiled and tipped her hat. Yeah, she's had enough for Texas. But she ain't coming back. John Moreland did a song. I reacted to it that, uh, you, what, you don't care enough for me to cry. You don't care enough about me to cry. And that's this. It's like, oh, my God, I'm not even worth being cried over. I don't know if that's worse or easier in a breakup. I don't know. It'll mess with your head, though. Baseline in this too. She's had enough of Texas from here to Abilene. Houston to San Angelo couldn't hold that tumbleweed. Them blue stars know they didn't cry. She just smiled and tipped her hat. Yeah, she's had enough of Texas. Yeah, she's had enough of Texas But she ain't coming back but she ain't coming back but she ain't coming back
you know, that was a nice detail that I almost blew past too about her leaving the jeans on the bed. It that part came in early enough in the song to I didn't know yet where the song was going to go. But that she left her jeans on the bed, it's like, oh, that also signifies she's giving up. I mean, a woman doesn't leave her clothes behind. A woman takes her clothes with her. But in this case, if she's leaving those jeans on the bed, were they boot cut or something? Whatever the, the little detail that was in there, I may be able to fill it in now for myself anyway, that when she went to California, she was giving up the Texas lifestyle, the Texas anything about it almost, the style, the fashion that she had. She wanted to start afresh. My guess is she'll be back in Texas later on. I mean, this is obviously a song, but it's like when you know human beings over time, uh, what is it? You could take, I mean, in this one, you could take Texas, you could take the girl out of Texas, but not Texas out of the girl. I, some people can move on genuinely if they're really unhappy with a given lifestyle. So it, it clearly wasn't just about him, uh, you know, the man that she was with, but he wasn't enough to hold her in Texas. She wanted to go try something different. I've been to Santa Barbara. There are worse places you could start over, but she better have some money because Santa Barbara's expensive. And a State Street and all that. I mean, but it's right there on the water of the Pacific. And it is beautiful there. So to go from there to there, who knows what that's about. But that was a nice, that was well done. I mean, I, I, there were mixed thoughts in there too. It's sort of like when you taste a wine and you want us to break up all the different components about what you're tasting in the wine or cheese or whatever you're eating and it, you, you try something new and you're like, whoa, there's a lot going on in there. There was a lot going on in here. There was, it was reminiscent at times of sort of Frankie Ballard style when he doesn't do just the jamming out rock country based stuff that he did. Um, but when he does more like ballad type stuff, you know, sort of like the hybrid traditional Nashville artist to blend it in there. Alan Jackson does that as well as, and George Strait, as well as any two people do. Miranda does as well, where traditional and natural people love them. And Tristan is sort of in that vein. But I would put it more, you know, 65 traditional, 35 Nashville, where you've got the up-tempo thing going with the drum. But the storyline and the way he presented it was, was just so. I mean, it, it was um, very listenable, intriguing. Um, I love taking time to dissect songs, too, because they take on a whole different world of meaning and feeling when you do that. Oh, goodness gracious. What am I going to rate this one? I'm going to come in. I liked it. I like the new artists. Um, they tend to be on a lower budget, and yet they can still put out some really good quality with some good things going on instrumentally. You got to put your time in to make that work. Uh, in honor, I'm coming in with an eight. 0.7 for Tristan on this one. So, uh, Tristan, if you happen to see it, well done, my friend. This is good stuff. So, feel free to leave your comments in here too, or a link to anything you want to leave a link to. I like it when the artists get better known, and, and if I can help uh, in some way, you know, develop the fan base and and so forth. I'm more. I love that part of it. So. That's it. Leave your comments, guys. I'll see you on another video. Have a great day and keep rocking the country.